I'm Alistair Greer, Chief Pharmacy Information Officer at East Lancashire Hospitals, and I want to show you how our Elanx Digital Transformation Programme is going to affect prescribing. I'm sure you're all familiar with our prescription chart. It's recently had an upgrade. It's functional, it looks good, but loads of safety features built in. But we're not going to need that anymore. With Cerner's Millennium Electronic Patient Record, medicines will be prescribed electronically. I'm going to give you a taste of that now. So here I am in a patient's record, belonging to Mr. Mouse. There's his name. We can see he's intolerant of allergies to clopidogrel. And I'm going to prescribe some aspirin. So click on care plans, click on add, and start typing aspirin. And as soon as the list is short enough, I'm going to select the one I'm after. Click done. Now, clicking done lets you see that the line has been ordered and it's got this little symbol rather like David Coulthard's racing helmet. And that means you've got to add some extra information. Clicking on the helmet reveals the fields that need to be uh, filled out. And here they are. Move that up a bit in my help. Most of the fields are pre-filled. Yellow means it's mandatory. So let's fill them out. In this case, he's had a TIA and we want to give a dose now. The indication field is mandated for two reasons. This may be the only place in the record where a medicine's indication is overtly captured. But the point of prescribing is really clear in the mind of the prescriber why they're prescribing it. And also means the indication is visible to anyone else accessing the patient's record. The second reason is we need discharge letters to contain the reason or indication for why medicine started, stopped, or changed. And this information is pulled automatically from the prescribing record into the discharge letter, making that process quicker, safer, and ensures great transfer of care. I want to show you one more thing, a power plan. That's where multiple prescriptions, lab orders and tests are bundled together in one easy package so multiple things could be prescribed or ordered at once to support a particular therapy. It turns out that Mr Mouse smokes 10 cigarettes a day and he wants to give up. So let's give him some nicotine replacement therapy. So type in NRT and select the nicotine replacement therapy plan. Click done. And you can see there's uh, in advice to inform our prescribing choices. There's a bit with the different um, tobacco contents. And information about which uh, patches to select. So I'm going to select the 15 milligram one and, and the gum. I'm going to do the two milligram. Orders for signature. And again, there's a little thing on there. So if I click on um, the helmet, I don't want to give an additional dose now. Click sign, click refresh. And if I look on the drug chart, there's his aspirin, there's his nicotine. So that's what electronic prescribing will look like on the 12th of November. We haven't got long to wait. Let's bring it on. Uh, you got a brush? <laughs>